Okay, so uh, for part of my 2019 goals um, was writing. So for any new viewers, um, I do have a day job in an office, but I also am a published author. And uh, then I also have my yarn dyeing business. So um, I've been published now for... I think my first book was published in 2011 and then I went I think a couple of years without publishing and then I've been putting out two to three books a year sorry two to four books a year since 2013 or 14 13 I think anyway then last year I didn't put out anything because I just was burned out from doing like a day job and trying to also write four books in a year. So I decided to take last year off. Actually, sorry, I decided to take the first six months of last year off from writing and then I started uh, writing, which would be the 10th and last book in the series that I'm writing and I was still burned out and I was having a lot of trouble trying to get my head back into things so after sort of banging my head against the wall for about four months five months on a on the last book I just thought I'm gonna set it aside and just um, come back to it in 2019 <laughs> because clearly I needed a full year off and not um, six months so anyway um so this year this year coming 2019 the book that i published back in 2011 i published through uh harlequin uh their digital press karina and um after seven years i got the rights to the books back uh so basically when you for those that don't know when you publish your book the publisher has all rights to your book until X number of years and with Harlequin it was seven years. <clears throat> so what that means is I can't do anything with my book so even though it really wasn't on their shelves anymore they weren't doing any promotion on it after like about the first six months um, you could still go on their site and buy it but if you didn't know it was there to look for it with all the other books chances of it getting found were you know um, so I got the rights back to that one so one of my goals for 2019 is I want to uh, publish that on my own most of what I do now at this point is uh, indie publishing. My Sins and Scandal series, which is a historical romance, is all indie published. Um, and the difference, and I do have other books with Harlequin, um, but when they offered me another contract, I turned it down just simply because indie publishing is just more lucrative. Um, for the Harlequin books, I think it was, I was getting 6% royalty on the cover price, I believe is how it went. Um, and on indie publishing, I get 70%. So I'm no accountant, but <laughs> anyway, so I have the rights back to the first book that I ever published. Um, I love that book, so I really would like to get it back out there. That one's a Western historical. So my plan for next year is uh, I have to redo the cover um, because I didn't really particularly particularly like the cover that they gave it and that's the other thing when you're with a publisher you have very little say in what the title is although they did keep my original title um, what the cover looks like any of that so as an indie publisher you have full control over that so I'm going to rebrand it with a new cover. I've got to read through the um, the book and just see if there were any like any small typos that maybe their copy editor missed because you know um, that happens. 
and then make any changes if I think, oh, you know what, I'd kind of like to just alter this a little bit or improve this line or whatever. So make any like little things like that. Then I will probably send it to my editor, uh, my freelance editor to do a copy edit. And then I will send it to my formatter to format it for digital publishing. And then out it goes. So that's probably going to be my first goal. So what I do is, I'll show you my little schedule. So every year, let's see if that, if you can see that. So it's basically broken down. <laughs> I should have. <laughs> it's broken down like month by month and then week by week um, so I think I can probably get all of that done for that book in a two month period so the other thing that I need to do is to um, brain fart <laughs> is to revise and release the 10th book in the Sins and Scandal series to finish that series off and just honestly I am never doing a 10 book series again because uh, so what I have with that one right now is I have most of it written and it just was the story was not working and I, it was driving me crazy so I just set it aside and then after I set it aside I started to kind of think about it and realized I had come at it in the wrong way. So the bones of the story will stay as I planned, but the execution of it is going to change. So that's going to basically require almost an entire rewrite. Uh, normally it takes me about, I give myself usually 12 weeks to write a book from start to finish. And in um, I'll give it to my editor for two weeks in the first two weeks of June and then she'll go through it and she does her edits on it and gives it back to me and then I take four weeks to do any revisions that are needed. Then it goes back to my editor and she does has it for a week and does copy edits. Then it comes back to me and I take her copy edits and make the fixes. Then it goes back to her for a final read through where it's just to pick up maybe any last little bits that got missed. And then it comes back to me and I do the same thing, take a week and do a read through. And then once that's done, I send it to my formatter who has it for a week. Um, then it comes back to me and it gets released. So I actually already have the cover uh, done for this because I did it this year thinking that's when it was going to be released and then that didn't happen <laughs> so that part's all done uh, but usually during the two-week period that my editor has it for revisions I will do the part where I do the acknowledgments in the back of the book uh, I do the back blurb for the book um, the little back cover copy uh, thing um, and then what else what else I'll probably start building what the any release promotions and everything like that that I need to do and then uh, that's about it so by the week of August 18th is when the book will get released then the other thing I want to do is uh, just take a break from historical romance which I've been writing kind of non-stop <laughs> for a long time now and there's I have a couple of book ideas that are more general fiction or women's fiction and I really want to kind of take those and um, figure out what I want to do with those so I have I want to flesh out the ideas that leaves me basically September October November four months to just play around with a new idea and start fleshing out that book so for September, October, November, December, I'm just going to put general fiction book. So that's the goal for writing figured out for 2019. So